Right now, Guthrie firefighters continue to search for a cause in that deadly apartment fire. Today, we return to the scene as one time residents face reality. KFCO's Morgan Chesky is live now at 5 from Guthrie. Morgan, I'm sure difficult for those residents to go back. Yeah, just difficult for so many. And residents have been allowed to go back inside to see if they can salvage anything. But you can see tape still up here at the scene, keeping everyone else out. Meanwhile, one bright spot after such a dark day stuffed animals left for the little girl who never made it out. Thursday in Guthrie, an almost silent scene. A charred home to six families, all but abandoned. The little saved no consolation for what was lost. We're grieving just right alongside them. And for Allie Hall, that meant taking care of this, a growing memorial for nine-month-old Harlem Lee, killed when Wednesday's fire spread so quickly the father and mother couldn't get back inside and save her. I don't know. It just hurts. It's, I don't know how she must be feeling and how she's dealing with it. Which is why Alyssa Hughes is sharing how to help the little girl in the pink bow. In less than a day, those in Guthrie have already raised $4,000. Every cent headed for the Lee family. I want them to know they're not alone, that they are loved and people are thinking about them. This whole community is thinking about them. Everybody is thinking about them. Now, I did speak with fire investigators today, still waiting to talk to that little girl's family in hopes of figuring out this fire's cause. Meanwhile, members of the community going to have a vigil for Little Harlem Sunday here at 6.30. We're live in Guthrie, Morgan Chesky, KOCO 5 News. Sure.